hiyo mama Kenya alifanya nikamwambia excuse me madam i have to check your bag Kenya alifanya ila tu alifanya alinichuna mapua na akaniambia you should, you, should, you should know people testimony of an altercation that has since elicited such passions and uproar in the public eye what with Kenya's deputy chief justice Nancy Baraza petered at the center of it having undergone public scrutiny and later appointed as Kenya's vice president to the supreme court she has since spoken out strongly in favor of sweeping reforms in the the judiciary Kenya do solemnly affirm cash demand claims emerging today that Rebecca Kerubo the security guard who alleges harassment sought 3 million shillings in compensation after an emissary was reportedly sent by Nancy Baraza to Kerubo's home to pave the way for reconciliatory talks claims that Kerubo's husband has denied strongly hiyo mambo ya propaganda ya watu hakuna pesa na tu kwa na hati ya pesa tu kwa tu miandai hiyo kesi ikuje kwa ya pesa such hue and cry over allegations of brandishing a gun at Rebecca Kerubo now vocalized in a petition to the Secretary of the Judicial Service Commission by one Peter Gishira Solomon, a Kenyan citizen who is now seeking that Deputy Chief Justice Nancy Baraza be ejected from office for misconduct. Peter Gishira quoting chapter 10 article 168 section 1e of the constitution which stipulates that a judge of a superior court may be removed from office on grounds of gross misconduct or misbehavior. He adds that by her words, actions and demeanor, the Deputy Chief Justice failed to uphold Kenya's constitutional leadership and integrity provisions of Chapter 6, Section 73, which states that the authority assigned to a state officer should be exercised in such a manner that demonstrates respect for the people, brings honor to the nation and dignity to the office, and promotes public confidence in the integrity of the office. A state officer who controls this law is subject to disciplinary procedure or may be dismissed. We are saying, and we would like to repeat, while investigations are ongoing, we think it's only prudent that uh, the Deputy Chief Justice steps aside honorably so as to pave way for proper investigation. So the Honorable Deputy Chief Justice, Nancy Barasa, should step aside to protect the judiciary's image in the case of a judge of a superior court, the process of removal from office can only be initiated through the Judicial Service Commission, which would then make a recommendation to the president, who is in turn expected to appoint a tribunal to investigate the petition against the continued stay in office of that particular judge. Chief Justice Dr. Willy Mutunga has convened an emergency meeting of the Judicial Service Commission to discuss claims of harassment and gross misconduct leveled against his deputy lady justice Nancy Baraza early next week. Salim Bilu, Citizen Weekend.